Welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk about how to create a business partner in SAP ERP and SAP S4HANA. And the main or the transaction to maintain business partner is simply BP. So the abbreviation for business partner BP. Just simply type in BP, the transaction code within a command field, hit the enter and then the transaction will open up. At the end of this video, I will also show you how you can maintain business partner in SAP Fiori. Here right now we are in the GUI, but simply the process and all the needed steps are exactly the same. Um, first of all, you have to know that in regards to a change in SAP S4 HANA, there the transactions um, to maintain suppliers, vendors uh, do not longer exist. So for example, in uh, uh, previous version of SAP ECC, there is the transaction XK01. If I now enter this transaction code within here, then you can see that this transaction code is obsolete and you will redirect it to the transaction B. P. Uh, it's exactly the same as if you would uh, type in XD01. Um, so therefore this transaction do not longer exist. You will automatically be redirected to the transaction BP. So keep this definitely in mind that um, with SAP S4 HANA you have to use BP. So the transaction to maintain business partners. And here right now, first of all, you will have the ability to find for different business partners, but uh, we would like to create a business partner. You can choose between three different types. You can create a person, you can create an organization, and you can create a group. Depends on what kind of relationship you have with the business partner, you have to click on this corresponding button. Here right now, I would just like to create a person. So therefore I click on the create person button. Then you will redirect to this. And here you have to know that a business partner consists of a lot of uh, parts, but one is the ID. So within here you can see the ID. There is one possibility that you have to enter the business partner manually, the ID manually, or it will be um, used internally. Also, depending on the on the grouping, uh, what what you choose. In this case, I leave the grouping empty. That's totally fine. And here you have a BP role, so a business partner role. And within those roles, you will um, differentiate. So you will um, decide what kind of business partner it is and what kind of processes the business partner is involved and what you basically can do with this business partner. And every business partner has the general role. So basically what is the name, what is the address and so on. But there are some one specific information just needed for the corresponding processes. So for example, what we will see in a couple of seconds here you have a role the flvn00 and this is the role for the supplier and um, there you have different other roles in your system that can be used but basically every business partner has to have the general role and yeah there's some couple of um customizing topics you can also do you can create your own roles and um, you can decide or you can select your mandatory parameters and so on but here right now we just focus on how to create it so first of all here you have to select the general role 000, zero, zero uh, a couple of zeros <laughs> and based on the check icon you see what is mandatory and here in this case just the last name is mandatory and just for uh, demo purposes, I just would like to yeah, uh, enter one, one, one last name. So for example, um, yeah, I don't know, just last name, just for demo purposes. And um, then, yeah, that's basically totally fine. If you want to, you can move to the, to the other tabs and see if you would like to also uh, enter some information. There are a lot of information available. Um, yeah 
just uh, maintain those information that you would like to enter um, yeah but basically here we saw that this is the only mandatory information needed to create the global role and then what you have to do is you just have to click on or to use the key combination to save your business partner and then basically yeah that's basically all now your business partner has successfully created and uh, now you've seen the or you see the idea of the business partner and um, yeah that's basically all no you know you have created it and what you also can see is that we are in the display view and now we would like to add a different role so that we say that our business partner can be also used in other processes in fi processes because we would like to use it also as a vendor and to do this as mentioned a couple of seconds ago you have to select your corresponding role and in this case it's flvn00 so i selected and now you might have recognized that some tabs have been added and there are new mandatory fields so for example here i have to enter the correspondence language just en and here also some uh, yeah, postal code so for example let's type in this uh, country region i just used a uh, for help what is needed within here okay yeah i just would like to enter de in this case for germany and then yeah you can see by the way if you are not uh, familiar what is kind of manager you can just simply click on save and then there will be an error message uh, showing you what is still mandatory going through the other uh, tabs to see what is mandatory um, you should definitely enter payment transactions that's i think clear but i skipped this because i just would like to show you this and here, there you can enter a lot of information that is needed for your for your process. And then, as mentioned, um, I have to enter also my company code, or I want to enter the company code. So to do this, uh, yeah, here the company code has been pre-filled for me. Um, so here I can enter an account. What do you like to just for demo purpose? I select this one and then seeing to the other tabs that seems to be totally fine okay great yeah and then i have to click on the save button yeah okay this is warning makes definitely sense uh yeah again warning okay yeah and but basically yeah if you uh would have entered also the when you add a tax number then there would be no warning and you, you should definitely enter it but i just would like to show you basically yeah what you have to do in order to create a business partner there can be a lot of customizing settings being done so now i would like to show you how you can maintain business partners within sap fiori here right now i am logged in into the app finder so simply in the sap fiori launchpad click here and then open up the app finder and then i search for business partner uh, but basically yeah within here within the category log business partner data there you can see the app called maintain business partner um, for me it has been already added to the launch pad but in case for you it's not then within the app finder you can find the app and then once you clicked on there then you will see that uh, also this kind of like similar screen compared to the sap gui will open up and within here you have exactly the same uh, possibility so here you can create a person you can create an organization a group you can open an existing uh, business partner here you can find for existing business partners and yeah that's how you can do it within sap fiori if you have any questions left please put them in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to never miss great upcoming video thank you so much and then see you in the next video